Turn the load if you want. <laughs> hey guys, can, guess what's up? happening? Today, wow. I had a big leftover uh, pork, pork butt, or pork shoulder. And I'm basically uh, gonna start out the tray in minus 15 weather. I'm gonna put this trigger, at, let me see here. We're gonna put this at, uh, I think 275 or uh, 275, we'll, we'll roll it between 275 and 300. So I'm just gonna put this on here. So let's bring it right up to 275. Okay, let's set her. She's set, ignite to start. Boom, here comes the jet. <laughs> Salut mon chum! So here we go. We're gonna start this. We have the trigger ready. This is from our last cook. We're gonna end up showing you what, what I did. It's gonna be some Texas style pork ribs of me cooking. And we ended up putting this voodoo spice here. I'll show you. Hi. Say hello, Mooney. No. Say hello, Adriana. They like no. new. No. So basically, I took a pork pork butt slash pork shoulder, and I ended up cutting it into strips. These are what is called Texas style pork ribs. So basically, what I did is I ended up cutting them in you know about whatever uh, three quarter inch slices to an inch slice on some of them. Not all perfect. So you can see here what I did is I just took the voodoo meat church voodoo um, rub right here, right. For Meat Church, you should definitely try this. And I'll show you some other ones that I have. But this one here is amazing on uh, pork, chicken, um, you know, fish, stuff like that. So you should definitely try out Meat Church. They're amazing. So did that, and then I had the leftover skin right here. So what I'm gonna do with this guy is gonna make some pork rinds. So there you go. So we're gonna put that on the trigger for uh, three uh, 275, and then I'll, uh, I'll end up uh, getting some apple juice slash um, apple juice uh, with barbecue sauce, which I'll show you guys when that's that's done. Got that, and then after that, I'll use probably use also some um, some uh, pineapple juice. And I'll show you just quickly two of them. The one that I use whenever I cook a brisket, just so you guys know, is this one here. Another uh, meat church, just this one here. So I see here, barbecue meat church. Holy cow, this one here is amazing on briskets. And then another one that's delicious, if you want, is again, this one here, fajita from Meat Church. Uh, this is good on, um, you know, it's on basically vegetables, fish, seafood, stuff like that, and uh, poultry and pork too, but mostly on uh, seafood, vegetables, is, uh, is the best on with these guys. Gives it a nice little kick. Uh, the one I'm gonna order or end up buying probably today is gonna be the uh, Meat Church um uh basically it's the honey honey uh rub so that guy there's very good on pork and or you can even put that on popcorn uh, surprisingly enough so what i'll do is i'll show you guys what it looks like uh, whenever i put this on the barbie and on the smoker i mean sorry and uh then after that it's gonna be on for an hour and a half so an hour and a half at 275 and then i'll show you the next step whenever i put it into the it's uh, apple juice barbecue sauce liquid over tin foil for another hour and a half and i'll show you guys the uh, end result all right guys hey guys uh, just uh, sorry here for the voiceover but i'm just doing this because uh ended up screwing up the audio for some strange reason i don't know why but uh, here all i'm doing is in this video i'm just explaining on uh after the rub the voodoo, uh, the meat church voodoo rub has been put on the uh, on the pork on the pork ribs, and uh, basically they've been you know sitting on there for about half an hour, uh, I would say approximately, uh, just to sweat out all the moisture from the uh, from the pork, and I'm just putting it on the uh, the trigger to start the the smoke, and as you can see here, I'm kind of the rookie mistake here. I was putting all the pork uh, vertically on the grates instead of horizontally but as you can see I'll uh, I'll end up fixing that as as I go along once I realize that I did a mistake here the reason why I was doing that is just because I was uh, trying to separate uh, the meat for what I was going to do from the uh, apple and the uh, the uh, pineapple 
<clears throat> but that's going to be later. So right now all I'm doing is just putting all the uh, pork, pork ribs onto the smoker uh, that's only been uh, with the Voodoo uh, meat rub on there. So as you can see, we're just putting it on there and I'm just grabbing the other, the other uh, pan with all the other pork that I cut up there, three quarter inch to one inch thick. Uh, and I'm just putting it on there. As you can see, I'm putting it all horizontally on there, just adding it. And uh, as, uh, as I said before, we're gonna be putting this at uh, 275, uh, 300 degrees Fahrenheit. And right now I'm just placing it and this would all be on there for about uh, an hour and a half to close to between an hour and a half and two hours. As you can see here, I'm just flipping all the, the pork here horizontally on the grates just because as they cook, you know, sometimes you just don't want them to either fall through and or get stuck, uh, which sometimes can happen uh, when you smoke and or barbecue. So I'm just placing everything on there. And then once everything is uh, placed enough, there's enough room for all that to go on. Uh, I'm going to close the lid and of course set it at 275, 300 degrees, uh, but I did put it at 300 degrees. So as you can see here, just placing everything just before we close the lid. And like I said, it's going to be cooking for, it's going to be smoking for about, uh, I would, I would say almost at least an hour and 45 minutes that it was on there for, to smoke. So as you can see, everything is set. All the rubs been adhered to it. As you can see, it's like a nice, uh, you know, a nice gold, not gold, but a mahogany color, if you will. So I'm just uh, putting on there, sending that up 300 degrees Fahrenheit, and we're gonna let it smoke for, uh, like I said, just one hour and a half to a, an hour and 45 minutes. All right, guys, here we are. We've had this now going. Check our pellets here. Yeah. Take it out. Finish this, should be able to finish this last half hour at the hour and a half. Here's our meat, folks. Look at that. Oh, wow. So, now we're gonna do, I'm gonna put this in here. Look how nice this all looks. Ooh, ooh. This, this smell that comes off of these, folks, is nuts. So, all I'm gonna do, there's our. stuff now that formed a nice little mark. Like I said, it's been on here for about, let's say about an hour and 45 minutes. So what I'm going to be doing is that we're putting that in their apple juice slash, look at this, I'm going to this guys. This. Apple juice slash um, pineapple juice. in and I'll show you guys when the juice is in a bit. Hey guys, so all we're gonna do is we put like around I was telling you about putting any type of barbecue sauce, doesn't matter which one you whatever one's your, your favorite one. So I just put some of this barbecue sauce with some apple juice right in the bowl as you can see right here. And all I did was just you know just mix it up just so you can mix the barbecue sauce in there right on that, maybe add just a little bit more in there. It's just, just a coat. Not You don't want to drown the um, the pork, right? But you just want to just give it a nice, just so that whenever it's steamed, it's going to be inside the, the flavor of the, the the meat, right? So a little bit more apple juice, right? It's going to have to fill up that, that pan right there, right? It's just to have a little bit of a base there. So I'll give this a nice little swirl. I can mix it all in there. show you guys. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a half and half. So we're going to do some apple juice and the other one some pineapple. So as you can see this is good enough. So I'm going to pour this right in this pot in this pan right here. Okay. There you go. 
barbecue sauce just a tad more and the other one will use the uh, the pineapple and probably some Jack Daniels for the pineapple barbecue sauce okay so there you go for that leave this upside down like so and then you'll see I'll grab the meat look at this guys I made a nice little bark See, it's just to have it in there. Okay. Just in there. You see, I'm not drowning it, just sitting in there. Right. There. There you go. As you can see that's all it is guys and I'll put the rest in the uh, the pineapple I don't have to show you that but just to give you an example that that we're using for the pineapple juice is this guy right here and then once we use the pineapple juice in the next the next batch we're also gonna add something we bought with uh, chili chilies is we're gonna try adding a little bit of bee sting so it's pineapple guave pepper sauce so we're gonna add that a little bit to the uh, to the pineapple one all right, guys, I'll we'll see you guys once we uh, pull it off. All right, guys, now the, the actual uh, ribs have been cooking for, um, for basically three hours, right? So an hour and a half in here, as you can see. So now what we're going to do is we're going to pull this off, right? We're going to pull this off and basically put just the barbecue, just the uh, barbecue sauce on it. Take this off. Now we're going to take this off, this one here, this, woohoo, steaming, okay. oh the smell that's coming out of here guys, unbelievable, just put these bows on just to make sure they don't get burnt, take this off, okay this guys, Like I said, this was just in the apples, uh, apple juice and barbecue sauce. And the other one is what's uh, the pineapple, right? So I'm just flipping these guys over. I'm gonna put them on here. Normally I could, whoop, normally uh, I could put a pan underneath just to keep the grill, but I'm still gonna change that, uh, the bottom. Bottom here soon because it's you know you should tra uh, change the bottom of your uh, Traeger foil you know after every second or third cook usually eh, just because you know there's just burnt burnt sauces on there or whatever so look how it just falls apart guys so all we're gonna do basically just glaze them just so that they can have a nice little bark glaze on them just like this. See my, my nice little crocs here. Oh, there's Yubby's licking the uh, the sauce. Uh, dirt bag. <laughs> okay, so here. Like I'm telling you guys, this stuff is just, just, just the, I wish they had smell of vision because this stuff is nuts. This, you wouldn't believe the smell this thing is throwing off. So there you go. Yubby. Yubby, get out of here. Yubby, move. <laughs> it's just smelling all this sauce here. So, This one, guys, is the one with the this the one with the pineapple, right? So this will be the same thing. Let's put this here for now. 
just since I've been awake. Do the same thing. This one here. Oh, and this is there, way different uh, smell. This one here, guys, is with the pineapple juice. Again, we'll flip these guys over so you can see. This is the pineapple juice, and you can see, right, it was just a little bit in there, just enough to cover it, right? So right now I'm just flipping these over just to get some of the juices, because why not? Right, but these are tender, like, you won't believe, guys. This is almost like falling apart on my tongs here. Like, look, I have a hard time just flipping them. Right? Just get some of the pineapple barbecue sauce. Look at that. Can't even, can't even flip these. They're just falling apart. Okay. There you go. So now, keep in mind, we also have here, remember guys, I was telling you about the, the, um, what do you call these? The, the pig skin, pork, pork rinds. So this is going to be the pork rind, guys. I'm going to put this on top like this. All right, so I'm going to put this as the pineapple. So again, look at this. I can't even grab it. It's just falling apart. So Texas style, Texas style uh, ribs, folks. And the trigger. If anybody doesn't have a smoker, I strongly suggest uh, getting any any brand, hopefully a trigger, but any brand basically will do. It's one of those easiest, easiest set it, leave it and uh, forget it. Set it and forget it, or whatever how you want to say it. Uh, to basically uh, smoke your meat. Yes, I'll admit an offset smoker is always the better taste, but keep in mind there's more work to it. You have to constantly feed it with wood. Right, these guys, all you do is just, like I said, set it and forget it. Look at that, I can hardly grab it, folks. So here you go, it's gonna be our, like I said, our, look at that, I can't even grab it. Get out of there. So now this is Wait. our, Done here, folks. And then we're gonna put our barbecue sauce on there. This is just to put, like I said, a glaze. And that's it for here. Let me keep this on here. Yummy. Okay. Yummy. Okay. So we're gonna put the barbecue sauce on here. Okay. So here's our barbecue sauce. And we're just putting some, uh, as you can see, we're just letting the dog in just because he's trying to lick the barbecue sauce that's tripping. So we just got the Jack Daniels barbecue sauce, right, that we picked up at Costco. We're just gonna put this, some of this stuff on here. Yes, I could have glazed it with just the sauce that we have, but I'm just gonna glaze some of this on here just to give it a nice little caramelized Coating on there. And these are going to be just, just like eating ribs, but melt the bone. There you go, guys. Look at this. The smell that's coming off of here, like I said, you just don't understand how, how this smells right now. So I'm just going to give this a nice little on here. We're going to put this on here again for that 300 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes. That's it. Like I said, nothing too fancy. But this, look at this. This is just going to fall apart in our, in our mouth. We're just giving a nice little coating. Like I said, 15 minutes, 15 or 20 minutes. And then after I'll show you guys what it looks like. The end result after three hours, three hours of cooking. All right guys, I just took it off the trigger. I'd say about, I cooked these about for three, almost, I'd say almost four hours altogether, right? Um, of course, the last, I'd say half hour, I put them in the trigger just to put some barbecue sauce and basically just to let it caramelize on top. So on this side, we have the uh, Texas style ribs with the apple juice and the uh, normal, uh, um, robust for me kettle creek from Costco I put the second one with the pineapple juice 
and the, of course, uh, barbecue sauce, which was the Jack Daniels from Costco. This was the pineapple juice, and we actually also added the uh, the hot sauce from, uh, let me just see here, it was from Chili Chili's, the Bee Sting Pineapple Guava Pepper Sauce. So we ended up putting that as well. So right now, and also, I also filled out, I kept the juice, so that people probably wondered, I kept the juice, I filled this guy back up with the juice from the apple. And I was able to fill up two mason jars with the pineapple juice and uh, Jack Daniels of barbecue sauce. We kept that, use that as if it thickens a bit, use that as barbecue sauce for future use. So we'll have Monica our taster. And Katie, if you wanna come here and taste yeah. taste the ribs. So we'll give you a little piece here, the Texas style ribs. So we'll try the apple first. Go ahead, Mooney and Katie. The first one will be that one, right? So we'll see how it tastes like. Oh, she's hot. She's hot a little bit. You know how though it just looks like it falls apart, eh? So what does it taste like, girls? Oh. Is it good? Yeah? Mm -hmm. So that's the apple, the apple one, right? And then after mm -hmm. that, we'll try the uh, pineapple one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then of course this will be the pineapple one on this side. So we'll try a little, little pieces right there or something. Let's take this one. Yeah. You want to skip the this. pineapple? No, no, try it, Katie. It's just a, it's it's a, a, it's juice. a it's juice. You'll be fine. Okay, so that's the pineapple one with a little bit of spice. Try it. Mm-hmm. Thanks. You can tell me which one you like better. Pineapple. Pineapple? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Pineapple just is a little bit more juicier. Oh, yeah? Mm hmm Oh, nice. I'm wondering if it's because of the sugary in the... Uh, the pineapple juice, I'm assuming. Plus that bee sting thing. Oh, and the bee sting too, yeah. The, the, That's really the, good. Yeah. Interesting. So there you go, folks. So there we have you have a success. And you can see how I'm a good moist, taste meat mirror. What are you how would you say for moist? How do you think they're they're actually like let's say if they're not bone because they're boneless because I took it off a pork um, uh, pork butt, right? Pork shoulder, whatever you want to call it. There was a bone, I just took it off because I cut all these and uh, yeah, we'll put that for dinner. We're gonna have that uh, for uh, yeah, basically I just cut them in three quarter inch one inch slices and uh you think they're uh, moist how would how do you, you find yeah it's like you know when you make ribs and they're not super fall off the bone yeah that's well i mean there's no bone but it would be yeah mm -hmm. sweet so it's a success mm -hmm. sweet awesome. i was doubtful yeah i was really doubtful but it's very good and uh, all I did, folks, is I just followed the Meat Church. Uh, if you go onto their website, Meat Church, uh, how to cook the uh, Texas-style uh, ribs, pork ribs. And uh, basically, that's all I followed, just did that recipe. And um, I'm telling you, check out Meat Church on their YouTube channel. Get tons, tons, tons of videos on uh, how to uh, smoke. They use an offset smoker. They use a pellet uh, smoker, charcoal. Uh, this, these guy, this guy's just awesome. Matt from uh, Meat Church. So give them a ch check it out, and we're gonna have these with some dill pickle, uh, dill pickle salad from Costco. I'm gonna show you. I don't know if Monica has the bag. Nope. Uh, no, here I'll get it out. Just so you show you guys this. If you haven't had a chance to uh, try this, folks, try it out. Okay, folks. Uh, this guy, this from Costco. Taylor Farms creamy mm -hmm. dill pickle, Primeros. So everything that's included, right? Your uh, dill pickle, the feta cheese, season, dill pickle seasoning, uh, creamy dill pickle. This, once you have this from Costco, folks, you'll never, you'll always want to buy some. And this, for some people that want to see all the uh, calories and whatnot per one cup, this is it. Just in case you're curious. There you go, folks. But anyway, so that's just gonna be a side dish. But this is our main meal. So we're gonna have some leftovers. I uh, uh, don't, don't think there'll be too much, but there'll still be some because they're big chunks. All right, folks, this is how to cook Texas-style pork ribs on the Traeger.